So this will be a review for the NCH video pad app for Android. For those of you in a rush to get out of here, it's in my opinion the best Android video editor currently available and the version I have at least is free to use for personal projects like this one I guess. It's got full HD support, 1920 by 1080. There's no duration restrictions on your timeline that I found anyway, no watermarks, and best of all, it's the only editor I've come across that supports two layers of video. It's going to be a bit of a workaround, but it is possible, and we'll get to that in a minute. But firstly, let's cover a few of the issues I found here. I found the app got very unstable when I was running low on space. Crashing became much more frequent and there was excessive stuttering. Render times on my device were also just generally really bad. It's one of those situations where you need to leave your device overnight rendering and I'm not blaming NCH but being across so many platforms like Windows, Mac, iOS and then Android, I'm going to assume Android is their least popular and potentially the least optimised. But in saying that, looking at the competition, Android video editing apps themselves are pretty limited across the board. One thing worth mentioning here is that KineMaster, or KineMaster, the better known Android editor, actually has very limited device support. VideoPad is one of the few editors that actually worked on my device at all, so yeah, it's going to be hard for me to complain about render times. But moving on, the UI that could really use a bit of polish. It's a holdover from their other releases, notably the desktop version, but it isn't particularly touchscreen friendly. So, how are we looking for features? That's where this review is going to get really exciting. Like I said, this app is totally free to use for your personal projects, and the app comes with a few free effects and transitions already. But here's where NCH will be making their money. To unlock everything in the app, you'll need to pay. You can buy the extra effects, extra transitions, or pay to remove all the ads. Each component costs a few dollars, or you can just pay a lump sum, I think it's about $10, and just get everything at once. As a consumer, I really love this approach to monetizing apps, and if I was using this app more regularly, that is, if I had a better Android device for editing, removing the ads is certainly one upgrade that I would pay for. Like I mentioned at the start, one of the more exciting things VideoPad can do is two layers of video. It works as a video overlay, so that means you can't add any effects to it or transitions. But to start creating a picture-in-picture -picture effect, just drag the video into the overlay layer. Once it's there, you can just double tap the clip and a few extra options will pop up. You can change the position, so center it, the opacity and best of all, the size. I'm not going to lie, things did get really choppy on my device and unstable, especially as my storage was getting eaten up with all these extra video files, so just be prepared for that. And of course, the video overlay works the same with images as well as titles. Not as exciting, but still editing on Android is going to mean you're going to have to compromise occasionally. So the app accepts a good deal of video formats and sizes your typical MP4s, MPGs, possibly AVIs as well. I know some footage types like the MTS from my JVC camcorder required me to rename that file as an MPEG instead. So it's a little workaround there again, but it does work well. VideoPad resized all my SD footage automatically for me to match the HD stuff I imported from my Sony camera, as well as the stuff that I recorded using the built-in camera. So don't be scared about mixing different cameras, bit rates and even sizes because VideoPad handles them all really well in the same timeline. The audio options here are really great, which that surprised me. There's a couple of effects and ways to adjust the volume level. It really is a very full featured video editing application. While we're talking audio, there's also a voice over or narration feature built in where you hit record and the video starts to play and you can start recording your voice. I could see this being an awesome feature, especially if you're on the road, for certain video producers who like to do pickups, unboxings, conventions, and even commentary. 
When it came to exporting, I was really surprised with how many different options that you do get here. NCH gives you the type of control over the video format that you need to output for your project. Like I said, this app will export in full HD for any duration without a watermark. As you can probably imagine, depending on the project, this process can take just a really long time. So for the app itself, I really appreciated the flexibility here, but I guess the best way to sum up editing on Android is that I'm actually doing this video on my laptop. The first time I covered editing on Android, specifically a video about video editing on a JXD tablet, I edited and exported the video just on my tablet. But to make that work, most of the footage was done using a standard definition handycam. And that's because my device just isn't up to handling decent HD footage. At this point, I'd probably recommend getting an Apple device, like an iPad for a better editing experience, but potentially there's some very exciting times ahead for Android. If you are really keen on Android, try and pick up the best device possible and experiment with a few different cameras and find one with a low bitrate, but still decent footage, something that's gonna get the job done. If you're after a few alternatives, I actually did a write-up with a bunch of the more popular and even some lesser known video editors over on my website. Just so you know, I'm not getting paid by NCH either. I just honestly think it's an awesome app that's going to help a lot of video producers who need to work on Android for whatever reason. So thanks for watching, really appreciate it and all the best.